Hello everybody, today we are back with another episode of Clash Royale. Uh, I'm using the Extinct Strategy, which is the Pekka Double Prince. As you can see, I don't have the princess, so I have to replace it with my wizard. Well, can't stop, so. Shut up, go away. <laughs> Open the silver chest. And let's hop right into a real battle. Oh gosh. That's good, but I don't have arrows. And he didn't he did not zap my meat. Um What? Okay, so we're playing against Rhea from Rian Y K O V in New York We New York for war I guess that's what we are What was this like? What? I don't want to back this up. Oh. Okay, I'm scared. He told me it's not like this from the start, so that's is this guy using my strategy? What? Oh my god, guys. This guy, I think this guy is using my first strategy. In fact, the first video I posted. Okay, he's using fireball here, so that's actually good for me. I'm going to use a double kick. Oh. Okay, that was me. I'm, yeah, I think it's like a tree goblin one. So it's like, I'm going to use my strategy. Unless he has level 7 fireball, can not take mine out. Yes, no, 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 hot no, 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 I think it's it's kind of close to the point. It's like a Boom! Easy. Anyway! Okay, the Ignite character was okay since the Black Tower was able to come out. But anyways, starting down this place, even if you have a little bit of a right hand tower, this place was going to be up. Let's do something. Okay, I'm going to do the first, first game, one crown win. That wasn't too bad. As you see, this strategy shouldn't be extinct, it's just the only thing is that it's too expensive and yeah. Now we'll jump into a couple replays to show. As you see, we have a lot of victory, but this are double like pretty much uh, friendly battles, and of course, these are like the real battles, but some wins, some losers, but mostly wins, so not too bad. And okay, let's jump into a couple replays now. And yeah. Okay, jump into the first repair right here. Okay, it is Pac-Man from Clash Royale Legends PR, okay. I'm using my Pekka Dolphin Sack and he's using a hot sucker there. So when he start off if he was hot right now. Well I have my skin hot in. When he's fire on really I I don't think I fire it but I can get a lot of things of food. And this was the funniest part ever. Because this has three his tower and he has no counter. And his tower just got demolished. Look at this. I got his tower down to 198 with just one push. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. So that pretty much became like the, the, the minor minion hot heavy as he zapped my tower back. 
no, not Zed might tell him. Zed the minion hot to get a half death and of course his tower and almost took it down to zero. So that was so funny. And here I come in with the Kakaku. I actually grab the hook where there's a Kaka, a Dark Queen, and a Blizzard such that it melts everything. But pretty much everything, I want to throw stuff on my Blizzard. But even if you throw stuff on my Blizzard, I guess I'm going to have to throw it on my As you can see right here, it fireballs on my Blizzard. It actually picks it up. So it means the Inspirer is a level 7. And then here, the power is probably going to be a good one. So my move was able to pull out the tower, so that was good. I don't think the Hot Rider was a smart guy since we got this record from uh, what's it called, Elixir Collector. So I didn't really do much work. Pretty for me, just to conquer. And here, I have a pretty good duck prison, so I don't think it's a great thing to do to do the record. So I'm gonna zap it and stop my heart. A game takes up my wizard and I was like, are you kidding me? Because not many people have a level 7 rank or level 8. I don't even have a level 8. I don't even have a level 7 rank. Mostly I have like level 6 rank. But I never have a free battle going on game and this fact you really really need a huge level 7 rank. It's not just cute. But you can definitely defend your thoughts. The fireball. We got everything! My feet, I missed the baby dragon, so if you want to, that's it. And here, I thought I was going to leave because, yeah, uh, hot weather running down low. Luckily, I had this new hot just to take it out. It dropped the new hot on the desert, okay. And this pretty thing is really troublesome. So because I don't know why I keep, I keep, I keep, I keep, okay. Here, the, actually, the reason why he survived, and I came in with that. But he was not close to the tower, of course, the mirror hurt. But then we now get the tower down to 879. So, and he, of course, he plays a free just of free hurt on the road. I can easily convert with my mirror hurt. Here, I play down my mirror hurt. Here, I play down my mirror hurt. We have a free duck queen for the tower, and it manages to take care of it. I think we were going to have to do the new one each, and that was a large shot. But, we managed it to come in with a really good one. So now let's jump in the next before. So the next we play is actually not by me. It's actually a replay I saw on TV Royale. And there's a guy called A-Stax. A using the Pekka Double Prince strategy against Zhang Guoren for Max Man. So let's look, take a look at this replay. It's the first time I'm using this replay too, so let's take a look. Instead, drops down a Pekka, while Zhang Guoren drops down a Jason Party. Actually, I'm just going to call them blue and red. Because it will be hard to just take them also. So the red side is actually using Arches and Spell Arches and the red right. This stack actually keeps people on the left and it knows the red station allowing it to get your power up but wow that is very good but of course the pressure and the team will die off because it's good They just traded cows there. That was interesting. I thought we're coming in versus the so level 7 of this. Picture of this kind of thing. So, A stacks, which is a blue side, it might treat the Rebecca as a good damage being Jaya. <laughs> this cannon was well played, dragging the. Well, it's a giant skeleton back and it's allowing all three. Oh, the two towers and the cannon to target it, killing the giant skeleton straight away. That was funny. 
All right, red set trying to build up the push. Yes, the red set. I think it's you. Office. You can kill Jai Skeleton. I think it's you. You can kill Jai Skeleton with Jai. You can kill him with more, more. It will be like the Jason's deck, only Jason. Jason's deck with the uh, Hot Rider and Jai. But this deck will be coming with Fish and Captain Moon, the naked Jai Skeleton again. And this side slightly destroys the Jai Skeleton and takes it out. This is what I call the Corral, the real, the real, the Pekka Double Fish Fish. There's a Pekka, two Fish. And the ship following it up. This is too much. Too much. Let me play a track out there, but I guess it's okay soon. Now, Red Side is probably down to 14 health, but Arrow will just take it out. And right now, it's still a good game. Red Side has just got to defend the game first. And we get into overtime, one arrow will be in front of it. So, this is just arrow right now. And that will be a good game. Oh, that's cool. This has kind of taken on to five, but that is GG. Okay, guys, that's all for today. So, the Pekka Power Prince strategy, which is pretty much extinct. There was a time where the whole leaderboard was filled with Pekka Power Prince, but now, look at the first guy Hawk Cycle, or uh, uh, Hawk Poison. Second guy, Golem. Third guy, Golem. Fourth guy, Hawk Cycle. As I said, this deck and the first deck is pretty much the same. It's Hawk Rider. Like, let's just compare them. Is it exactly the same? No, it doesn't have Musketeer in it, so let's get away. Get away, get away no! Oh my gosh. Oh, why did I do this? Yeah, so like, people are using the Hawk Poison and Golems and they are, they are Light King. And I think people, also, some guys also use the Balloon Giant strategy. Oh, Lavalunian. That is interesting. <laughs> but, yep, yeah, there's a balloon giant right there, I think. Number 10, is it? Yep, yeah, there's a balloon giant strategy right there. And, yeah. No one is using a Pekka Double Prince anymore because. I actually do not know why. Maybe this, you guys can go online and search why is the Pekka Double Prince strategy extinct. So, yeah, that's all for today, guys. Remember to stay calm and crash on, right? Peace out.